Hi, I'm Anastasia from Tech City News and this is your Week in Tech. The web just became a little bit more personal as Qubit raised an incredible $26 million. Founded by four ex-Googlers, the platform analyzes users' interactions based on behavior to deliver more personal content. Two other British startups raised investment this week with Cogbooks and Spacious raising $2.8 million and $800,000 respectively. And British startup Locals became the first company to win the John Lewis Incubator competition, securing a $160,000 investment from the retail giant. Last week we reported that PayPal were forging forward with Bitcoin payments and this week it's all changed for the payment giant as it was announced that the company will be split off from eBay to create its own publicly traded entity. American Express executive Dan Shulman will become PayPal's new president, while eBay will have a shakeup replacing its current chief with its marketplace president. eBay originally acquired PayPal back in 2002 for $1.5 billion, but it's now argued that both companies cannot take advantage of competitive opportunities whilst being one company. Reddit, the front page of the internet, has raised $50 million in investment from the likes of Snoop Dogg, but what's more interesting is what they plan to do next. Reddit CEO wants to create a new cryptocurrency and use it to give 10% of shares back to the community. These so-called Reddit coins would be distributed based on contribution. The currency could be bought, sold and traded by its users. It's still very early stage, but nothing like this has ever been done before, so watch this space. In the wake of non-stop security scandals, this week's download could be useful. One password is a 21st century digital wallet that protects your identity and your data. You choose one master password that locks all of your accounts behind a secure and encrypted wall. That way you get a unique password for your Gmail, iCloud, Facebook and more, but all you need to remember is just one password. So each password is like a unique snowflake that hopefully no one can hack. It's available for free download now on iOS and Android. And finally, it wasn't just pictures that Snapchat promised would disappear this week, but also pounds of weight. The messaging service was apparently hacked by weight loss adverts that spammed its users to the point of wanting to self-destruct. This has been your Week in Tech. For more, check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.